Hi everyone, my name is Girish Rao. Thanks for watching this video. This video was brought to you by Finkster Academy. All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply a function to each element of a list. I'm going to use Python's built-in map function. The map function essentially takes a function and one or more iterables as arguments, and then it applies the function to each element of those iterables. Now, the map function also uh, returns a table, which is also known as a generator. Now, one has to be careful about the generator. It is created within a temporary memory, which means that you can use it only once. So you have to use it within the, the context of a constructor, like a list constructor or a set constructor, to see you know, how the elements were modified within it. So, you know, take a deep breath, let the breath out, Stretch your fingers, shake them, and let's code. So here I have my two screens. Um, over here is uh, the Python uh, interpreter that's already running. Um, and on the uh, over here, I have my code, my script already ready. Um, I'll execute it and I'll show you line by line uh, what's going on. So let's cut and paste. All right, so you see that over here, I have my list, uh, which has um, uh, you know the elements which are all lowercase uh, strings. So you cannot exercise away a bad diet. And uh, what I'm going to do is apply the string dot upper um, uh, Python built-in function. I'm going to apply that uh, to each element of this list to capitalize uh, to make each string uppercase. So let's see how that is done. Like I said map returns a generic iterable um, you know the, the it's a generator so you need to have a list constructor here i use the list constructor and i say you know i give it uh, my generic iterable as an argument and it um, uses the function and it applies it to each of the original strings in the original list and as you can see it capitalizes everything now, remember I told you that, um, you know, the, the generator is created once and it's created in temporary memory. Now, you know, if you want to see what it is doing, another way to see it uh, is this code I'm going to cut and paste over here to show you what happens. It's like a different thing. So what I'm doing in this code is I'm going to be uh, iterating through each element um, inside the generator and it's going to um, print um, each modified string variable within the original list. So here's, let's cut and paste this. So if you notice, uh, I call the map function again because I had already used uh, the generator over here using the list constructor. So, you know, it was already done. Like I said, it's in temporary memory. So I had to call the map function again to create another temporary generic iterable, all right, uh, the generator itself. And then I go use a for loop uh, to go through each element within the, the generator and print it out. Now, if you don't believe me, try it. Try it, uh, you know, try to use the same generic iterable again uh, without calling the map function and see what happens. Let's see, let's do it right now over here. I'll call the for on it um, and see what happens. So remember over here that I did not call the map again. So I'm just going to just call the for and use the generic iterable and see what happens. So see what happened? It just bounced off because that generic iterable was, you know, it was created in temporary memory. It was already used once over here in this for loop. I went to use it again in the second for loop and it was done. It's, it's already, it went through all the elements, it's done. So that's what I mean by temporary memory. So there, that's how easy it is um, uh, using the map function uh, to apply, you know, a function to each um, item uh, within a list. Now, you could also use list comprehension. Since this is a list, uh, one can use the list comprehension to do the exact same thing. It's not as flexible as or fast as the map, but you could use it. It sure beats uh, using the for loop, you know, the old C-like for loop and applying a function to each element within the for loop. Uh, that's a, these are very concise things that, uh, you know, is, uh, that, that are available in, in Python to use. Um, 
so let's see how to use the list comprehension next. Again, I have my screen, my Python interpreter over here and my ready script over here. I'm just going to cut and paste and uh, then explain what happens. So let's cut and paste it. All right, so over here you see the my list, the original uh, list that has this lowercase string elements. Uh, you cannot exercise away a bad diet. Um, by the way, that's true. So you better eat healthy um, if you you know want to be a good coder. Just just kidding. Um, it, but yeah, this is what I was taught, uh, you know, by my wife and by my by my mom and everyone. All right, uh, that aside, so now what we do is we use list comprehension, same idea. Uh, we use the string dot upper Python built-in uh, function to apply the function to uppercase each element within the list. So this is what for, um, for I in my list, what it is saying is go through each element of the list and apply string dot upper to each element of the list um, and put all of the resulting um, uh, strings within my list one. And you can see when I print uh, my list one over here, you can see that each of the letters has been uppercased. So as easy as that. So there, uh, you see that uh, using the list comprehension, it's just as easy as using the map function. So which one to use? Uh, I would say use the map function. Um, it's more versatile. It can take more than one arguments, uh, iterable arguments you know, and apply the function to more than one iterable arguments at the same time. So it's more flexible in that sense compared to the list comprehension. So uh, it looks neater too than the list comprehension. The list comprehension takes a little bit of practice. Uh, you'll eventually get the hang of it when you practice list comprehension over and over again. So it's it's fine, but um, use the map function, you know, to, to, to apply a function to each element of, you know, multiple iterator, iterators. It's, it's slightly faster too. Um, so over long lists and long and complex lists, uh, complex lists, um, uh, the execution time you will see that the map executes much faster than probably a list con con comprehension or even you know the plain vanilla C-like for loops. Th those are you know they, they are old style. Just forget about them. Uh, use the map function. All right. So just to recap, we saw how to use the map function. We saw how to use the list comprehension. Uh, to uh, to apply a function to each element of a list. Um, use the map function, it is much faster. Um, don't worry if you don't instantly understand it after seeing this tutorial, read the accompanying blog uh, to this tutorial. It explains a little bit more in detail about how to uh, you know use uh, uh, each of these functions and it also shows you how to use the old style uh, you know for, for loop. Uh, uh, to you to apply a function to each element of a list. So, so there you go. Breathe deep, breathe out, uh, relax, and uh, enjoy coding. Well, I hope you learned something useful today. Thanks for watching this tutorial. This tutorial was brought to you by Finkster Academy. Until next time.